youngster, when I was a leader, I led through manipulation and this was, hey, we're gonna get this money at any means possible. We're gonna hustle, we're gonna do what it takes. And guess where that landed me? Because negative actions will never give you a positive outcome. That landed me in the penitentiary. And I led in the penitentiary in a negative way as well until I finally started to wake up. Once I started to wake up, I led through inspiration. I no longer led from manipulation. I led by inspiring others. Great leaders, they do not create more followers. They create other leaders. And that's exactly what we're doing now, that we're living in an inspiring manner on the street, creating other men that are leaders for other men and women. This is what it's all about. You guys don't get it. The real one is the one that still applies the same habits that saved him at the bottom when he makes it to the top. I don't think you get it, but life is coming and it's coming when everything starts to go your way. When everything starts to go your way, that's when the comfort sets in. That's when you start to take L's. You don't take L's when you're at the bottom because there's only one fucking way to go when you're at the bottom and that's up. That's why I consistently keep myself in a state of discomfort because these habits are what will save you. If you learn to consistently self-inflict adversity during your winning season, you won't be able to be stopped. And then you will learn to take pleasure in not being pleased. This is how I did it every fucking time out here. Every time I've been able to reach a new level. Those of you who've been with me since the park bench to the penthouse have seen every background change. This is view changing. This is straight view changing. Look at what we're at. You can easily change your view in a matter of months. And you don't even understand what you can do in a matter of years if you just learn to master each day. Master each day because success leaves clues. When you live a successful day, you can stand back. Knowledge, it comes from study, but wisdom comes through observation. When we observe our daily actions through actually putting it into play, everybody wants the path just drawn out for them. That's not how it works. You have to have faith in your vision and the path illuminates as you fucking walk it. As you walk it, I became someone who was knowledgeable in fitness and nutrition. Through this, I understood and I observed my inner state. Then I began to give, I began to give what was most valuable, which was the inner state of observation, that reflection of how we actually attack the root that keeps, them, keeps us from our goals. We can't just give someone the blueprint without giving them the self-talk to overcome the negotiations with your lesser self. We can't. We have to give them the root strength, which is the fucking ability to see our faults. You are your fucking best fucking weapon against you, motherfucker. Self-criticism is your best friend. That is your best friend. Growth occurs when you get in that mirror and you call yourself on your bullshit. I had to call myself on my bullshit. A lot of you motherfuckers still think you'll be able to win doing negative shit. Maybe you see the cars, the pads and all this shit and you just want it so quick that you'll do whatever it takes. This is not about doing whatever it takes. It's about doing whatever it takes to be a man. And by definition, a man is responsible. By definition, you punk motherfuckers, a man is responsible. Were you a responsible man last night? That drunk ass lush, lush bitch you chose to be sucking down drinks with your buddies because all of a sudden the restaurants are open again. Let's go get fucked up and tell stories about who we're not. I don't give a fuck, dude. That's the pussiest shit. Why do I know? Because that was me. That was fucking me. I sat there, got fucking hammered, and fucking lived this fake reality. This fake reality where we're fucking so fun and life's so good. Motherfucker, if you really fucking are someone who've reached a level of enlightenment, you're not out looking for anything else. It's all within the way you conduct yourself. That's why motherfuckers ask me, what's your goals, Wes? What's your goals? What's your main goal? I say to not break character. 
If I don't break character, I never pay karmic debt. If I don't break character, I don't lose moments of my life. If I don't break character, then I have that inner peace that we're all after. We're just after contentment and inner peace. Those fucking drastic spikes and those drastic hills and valleys, those spikes and fucking drops, those highs and lows, that's not what you're after. Life. Life is not about that. Goodness is uneventful. It does not flash. It glows. That steady glow of a master day, motherfucker. This is how you win. This is how you operate from flow. This is how you stay in complete inner peace and contentment because you're not drifting forward. You're not drifting back. You cannot help but fucking regret. When you waste your time with substances and with negativity, you cannot help it. That's not our path. That is not our path. It all exists within us to cure everything going on internally. But motherfuckers, I hear them out my window. That's why I'm bringing this up. All night, I hear them out my window partying because everything's open again late. And I hear this pussy shit. It's the sound of bitches being less than they could ever be by choosing to fucking engage in that fucking behavior. And the thing is, is they just don't get it. They're choosing to be less by sucking down alcohol, disrespecting themselves, and then waking up in the morning saying, I'm really grateful for this. I'm really grateful for that. Motherfucker, gratitude is action. You don't disrespect your life by consuming fucking uh, substances and getting fucking smashed. That is the most disrespectful act you can do to yourself. So what you don't get is you're pushing yourself away from any grateful state and you're just acting. It's just fucking words and talk is cheap, motherfucker. Talk is real fucking cheap. So when your actions are fully in alignment with the outcome you want, when your actions are fully in alignment with the outcome you want, your thoughts, your actions, your energy and your vision are congruent, you will see how quick you progress in this life. I've done it all ways. That's how the fuck. Hey, Wes, you're so wise. No, I was such a dumb fuck. And I woke up. All you dumb fucks whose conscience is calling them to stop. Oh, I've never seen someone get drunk as fuck and say, hey, uh, like, and not say, damn, I'm, I'm done drinking. I'm never drinking like that again. Everybody I've ever seen get drunk has said that. That is your guideline. Regret is your guideline. You're wasting your fucking life. The only time we lose moments of our life is when we willingly break character. If you willingly break character, you will pay. And that's moments of our life being taken. That's karmic debt that we got to fucking pay. We fully cannot. We cannot be in a state of contentment, a state of inner peace. We will not achieve flow because we'll be stuck in that past event. You have to understand, you want clarity, you want purpose, you want to see your purpose, you want to feel it from the inside out, you have to earn it. You have to earn it through the suffering and the sacrifice to attain it. Motherfuckers think they're just going to be gifted it. Hey, I'm trying to stumble upon my purpose. What do you think it is? Motherfucker, it's about sacrificing to hear that inner voice, to tap in to infinite intelligence, to sit at that table. I see myself as earning a seat at that table with Every fucking, every piece of wisdom that's readily available, it's called infinite intelligence. And when you tap into this through the only known route, which is gratitude, gratitude kicks down the door to infinite intelligence. And you think you're grateful, but are your actions grateful? Are your actions grateful? Are you doing everything with every moment to give yourself every possible advantage to live the life that your vision is telling you to be? You don't, your vision is not up for debate. The way you see yourself looking, acting, being, all the positive aspects, that's what you must create. That is our path. You are the path.